Hi there. For today's video, I've got questions from Carlos. Carlos has got two friends that are in the medical field. And they both say that having a resting heart rate in the 30s, or for that matter in the low 40s, is not a good thing. I thought that a low heart rate and a high VO2 max was a was great. Please clarify. Well, Carlos, if you are an athlete, having a low resting heart rate is a good thing because that means that from your resting heart rate to your VO2 max heart rate or your um, lactate threshold heart rate, you've got a wider va uh, variant available to you, which means that you're able to keep going for longer and harder before maxing out at the top of your power band. So from that point of view, high VO2 max low resting heart rate for an athlete is a good thing. But if you are Joe Bloggs sitting at home, munching potato crisps, munching McDonald's, watching television all day, then a low resting heart rate could be an indication that there's something seriously wrong as far as heart disease is concerned. But, as I, as I mentioned, for an athlete, these things are good things. So the important factor to remember is that whenever you're going for a medical or you're needing to have some sort of a surgical procedure done or for, for whatever reason, it's important to let the nurses and the doctors know that you're an athlete. And one of the main reasons for that is, especially if your resting heart rate is down into the 30s, when your resting heart rate is down into the 30s, that's the level at which you start setting off the alarms of those ECG machines. And that's the last thing that you want you to have is to be setting off the, the alarms in the ECG machine and they start putting those the paddles onto your chest. Meanwhile, you've just got a naturally low resting heart rate. So if you ever um, in for a medical procedure, make sure that all of the doctors, the anesthetists, the nurses know that you're an athlete with a low resting heart rate. That's my take on the matter. Post any comments and questions that you have down below. Don't forget to share this out amongst your running friends. And last but by no means least, click the big red subscribe button you can see down there as well. That way you can stay subscribed to my channel for all of the new content that comes out on a day to day, week to week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time. Cheers.